All right, today's video is gonna be circling the body. Shields! 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 All right, I've been showing you the two little Dutch Shepherd puppies on their journey from obedience to bite work on their way into high level protection skills. So they're about seven months old right now. The circling right now, they just started. And everything else in the video that we've been doing with them, they're about five months old, maybe six months old. So already by seven months old, we're doing a very high level complex skill. Okay, so when we talk about circling the body for protection, we're teaching the muscle memory and understanding of how to use the body, spatial reference, feeling it, learning how to get that body swung around tight, nicely, cleanly. Shields! 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 To eventually guard the owner if need be if an attacker starts to go around the person and try to find an angle okay so the dog is blocking the person off from entry anywhere that person goes the dog will block them and have a direct angle at them if the person comes in to attack the dog is right on it and going to meet them before the touch <laughs> So that's the purpose of why I teach the circling the body. You will find very few companies or trainers that teach circling the body and protection. There's only one company I know that sells dogs besides myself that does this exercise. And in the end of this video, I'm going to compare a dog that sold sixty-five to eighty-five thousand dollars, and where are these puppies right now in their skills compared to that dog? And you're going to be very surprised. Okay, so just giving what skills dogs need or have to make them that elite, right? And forget the money value. That's why these kind of dogs cost that kind of money. And it's because of these highly complex skills. So I'm gonna do a rundown here of circling and all the other skills the puppies have until now in their protection game. And then do the comparison with the trained adult that was sold by another company. Okay, and we'll do a market value everything has a market value so we're going to compare that at the end of what these puppies right now would be valued on the market okay so first things first okay so we were talking about circling the body and why we're doing it okay so first exercise that we need in a protection journey on any dog Okay, but we're talking these two Dutch Shepherd puppies now, and I'll use other dogs as well to compare you know, what it looks like as an adult. So, first thing we need, and remember, most people really don't have good reference of what a real protection dog is, right? So the world has been used to Ah, get him! Ah, right? On a control out of control on a leash. Snap, right? No control whatsoever. It's just a free-for-all. <laughs> okay, so my dogs, my theory, my philosophy. Control, control, control. It's all about mental discipline and obedience control. Right? And then it's taking that and putting on the protection skills. So we have 
a perfectly trained protection dog that is not out of control, that doesn't just bite people for nothing, <laughs> is very social, can be around anybody, children or whatever it is, without any problem. But when they are turned on, their skills and control, mental discipline is phenomenal. Okay? So, first thing, the puppies needed to learn how to hold next to the left leg, no leash, and hold themselves while barking actively and aggressively at their favorite toy. Good. Okay, so first exercise of holding the body tight, no mistakes, no jumping out away from the body, hold there, talk on command at the toy when I tell you, stay active, okay, and don't fly away to get the toy, okay, and all dogs want to do that. So this is a huge mental discipline to start right off the bat with any puppy or dog, okay? So you see perfectly, she's holding, no problem, barking at the toy, frustrated, but will not leave the leg, no leash on, okay? Doing it all by herself. So we know we have a fluency. So what can we do with this, okay? And I say this all the time for people who inquire about my videos for sale or personal clients that come to me and either they don't have a dog who has the genetics to do real protection work and actually bite and follow through or they just don't want that. They just want a dog that will threaten people and scare them and not have to use biting. Okay, so this exercise to be taught is for everybody, right? Anybody who wants a threat dog but doesn't need a bite dog, this is what we tell everybody. Learn these things because you will have a serious deterrent if you can get your dog to threaten talking but not necessarily have to bite. Okay, so here You'll see we turn on, and here with the decoy, I just stand with my hands on my head, the dog is here barking, and just holding the thread. With no try to run at her and go bite her, but talking and threatening. All right, so now, when we talk about turning on and barking at people, we are telling the dog we want you to talk to them, but no aggression. What? Okay, so here we shut the dog off. I can go pet him. Okay, so we're just making the threat, but not the aggression. Okay, and if I want to, I have a dog that I'm doing both, that I want the talking, the threatening, but if need be, I'll send them to attack if I want to. Okay. 
When you're ready. When it. Ah. Oh. Oh. All right, so there's a lot of value in having control, being able to have a dog talk on command at somebody, threaten, and hopefully keep that all in check and never have to use the dog, okay? But again, if you have the protection side, you can hold, threaten, if not, I need to do it, I just send them and I take care of business, right? So I have both sides, just in case, okay? But that first step of holding there, talking on command, is what most people need, not necessarily a bite dog, okay? So that is for the majority, okay? Because that's gonna scare most people. <laughs> All right, so second step. Again, in a high level protection game because we have to be ready for anything that can happen. Okay, you're out in the street somewhere, caught in a house, I mean, whatever it is, anywhere you are. The dog has to be able to learn to move with you. Okay, the public just believes that a protection dog goes and flies and just bites things and anybody who bite, you know, <laughs> they feel a threat, it, the dog should just go crazy. Okay, that's not what a great protection dog is. Okay, so now second, we want to be able to move with the dog and have the dog flow with us. Okay, second step is backwards. All right, and later, when these puppies are adults, it's going to look like this when now they have attack development attached to that skill. Okay, again, getting ready for anything that can happen anywhere, right? So we want total control and the dog to learn how to flow with the body and use us as the marker of where to be and where to flow to. But stay focused on the objective, the bad guy, threaten while we move. Very complicated for dogs, right? And I've talked about this in many videos staying aggressive and having to follow the leg and stay with that too and stay focused on those things at the same time is not easy okay and these puppies are doing great at it so for later it would be with the attack on it if somebody was to come and attack you right the the dogs would take care of that and block you off okay so now the third, where we started the video. We want to make sure that we have the dog skill of using that rear end of how to move around us and block off somebody who's trying to get around the front, thinking they can get around the dog maybe, right, and threaten. Or an intruder comes up behind and I see it and I just give the word and the dog will start to turn around and face that direction. But we have to teach the motor skills and the muscle memory of getting dogs to use that back rear to move around and get that comfort and feel of how to twist themselves to the body. Okay? Shields! Shields! 
Shields. 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 Okay, now there's different ways to do this. This also could be done also by people just wanting the threat factor. So all these exercises still apply to somebody who just wants a threat factor and not a dog who actually attacks or bites. The only difference is you're teaching the dogs bite in those scenarios if you want it, bite work, bite development, and how to bite out of those positions, right? But same things. So a person who just wants a threat dog follows from step one to step two to step three, and now they have a dog who fully covers them and does these things, but doesn't have to bite. What? And then we add the bite. All right, so those are the main things in major exercises for an elite protection dog. Okay, very few protection dogs in the world have those types of skills and those levels of skills. It's only one other company I know of, okay? So, now, let's go into the other company, <laughs> but let's just show what this puppy, where they are right now compared to an adult dog who is already finished and sold Okay, at the sixty-five to eighty-five thousand dollar value. So now keep in mind these puppies already have great bite work. Alright, so I want you to watch this video here and this is a popular video pretty popular on YouTube and most people who have seen the video are usually very impressed amazed at what this dog can do so I want you to watch the video and then we're gonna break it down into what the puppies have compared to what that dog has already as a sold protection dog All right, so dog's good. It's got good skills, decent skills, right? It's nothing complicated, nothing crazy. You know, now I understand for people who don't really know what that is, it's amazing, right? <laughs> and I hear that from all the time. Look, the dog's good. So now let's do the comparison. 
So the first thing was you see the dog coming, healing down the street without the leash. And the puppy here has same thing, walking through town without a leash on. All right, and then the guy comes out, an aggressor, attacker, comes out from the side, and the guy turns the dog on towards him, and he casually moves over, and then just stays stationary, and nothing crazy, just little scoot over, and we get a stationary bark at the, the attacker. Okay, exactly what we did in step one with the puppy, who's five months old. Stay there, stationary, and bark on command when we tell you at whatever it is, like she's doing. Okay, so same thing, perfect. Right, so we have that dog heels in the street off a leash. He heels in the street off a leash. Check. That dog just does a little move over, stay stationary, bark at the guy while staying still at the left leg. Puppy has that too. Check. All right, and then the guy starts to go backwards away from the attacker. Small little steps. Then a little bit of forward walking casually. Then starts to go backwards again and move away from the attacker. And so the puppies also, here, backwards walking. Good. Hustle. And also, sideways moving, shimmying away, right sideways just like that dog. So the puppy's movements and what we're showing here with her is way bigger, right, than that dog working in the street. This puppy is holding long lengths of back walking, real good curves and far distances away, right, which is bigger skill than the mallow on the street there, right? So just giving you perspective, <laughs> and this puppy's five months old, <laughs> and no leash, okay, does all this just the same, all right? So just comparing the skills, another check, right? Backwards walking, perfect, sideways scooting, no matter where the owner Check, another check. But as of right now, puppy's got a little advantage, okay, on the detail and the duration of the exercises. All right, and then we get a stop and we get a send, right, an attack. Puppies had that development, just too young to be on a decoy yet, but has attack skill too. Check. Just gonna turn that into a decoy. Same thing, no issue. And you saw her bite work earlier. The girls have phenomenal bite work, those two puppies, okay? 
check, covered, okay? So, so far, we're on par with a sixty-five dollars to $85,000 dog with even a little more skill to that. All right, now here, the dog, he's gonna out him from the attack and send him back to the leg, back to the control position to defend again. All right, so the dog outs, comes off, and goes right back into position, barking at the decoy. In the puppy version, here, you're going to see the owner playing with the tug toy. She's very aggressive with the tug toy. So he's going to out her off the toy and call her back into position and talk again. Good. 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 Repeat, house. Opie. Pass off. Right. So same thing. Dog is biting arm of guy. Puppy right now at this stage is prepping for that. Tugging the toy. You're aggressive on the toy. Outs. Let's go. And she's told and told to go back to the position immediately. Letting go of the toy. She gets right back in there, exactly to the right, proper side she's supposed to be on, and doesn't make a mistake with that either, and starts to go into talking again. Same thing. Check. Okay? Just like the Malawa. All checks. Check, check, check. The out in aggression. Check. The return to the leg check. Barking when the dog gets there back into aggression, check. Okay? Just the same, just like the Malawa. All right, and here, the end, he just shimmies away, he scoots away, and again, nothing complicated, nothing, I mean, complicated for, to most. <laughs> But now the puppy, same thing, Sh just circles sideways, just same way that this Malawa goes with the guy in the street. Okay, same thing. Check. So the puppy does everything that the 65 to 85 dollar thousand dollar, sixty five to eighty five thousand dollars, this little five, six month old puppy does all the same things and has all the same skills. Check, 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 right? But even at a greater depth of skill. Now, let me just give you a, a little bit of a, I'm gonna show here, the outing back to position and taking her deep, right, into technique and skill. This is not easy. This takes good technique and very tough on dogs. All right, so Michael here is going to out her, send her back into the position, have her talking, walk her backwards, start to circle with her, and do all the changes of directions and all that which is very difficult, right? This is very difficult to do well. You have to have a great leg game, okay? So here, Michael does it from the beginning, outs, gets her back, and goes into all the walking and, and the different directions. Protect OPA. <laughs> Pass off.
All right, it's phenomenal. This puppy's five months old there. Maybe six months. I'm pretty sure I think it was five months still. I mean, amazing. So we have a puppy right now at seven months old. They just turned seven months old. But by six months old, they already had Sixty-five to eighty thousand dollar value. Right now, they have more things. So, on the market, remember, it's market value of what things are going for with those particular skills. And again, there's only one other company in the world that I know that does those skills as well as I do. Okay, and that's the value. So, right now, these two puppies. Their value right now would be about eighty-five to hundred thousand dollar mark. Okay, right now, and they have many more things we're going to add to them, even taking this to a whole new level. And now that value is if they had bite work right now, meaning they were adults already and they were doing decoy work, biting for real. Okay, that would place them at least an eighty-five to hundred thousand dollar value. Okay, <laughs> so and all the other things we're going to put on them, by the end they're going to be about hundred and fifty thousand dollars. No joke, right? With all the extra things we're going to add to this whole game on them, so they're probably going to be one of the most expensive pair of dogs ever to be sold in the categories. Right, so it's just giving you an outlook on what is elite, what's the stages, what it looks like, what it should look like for an elite protection dog, a real protection dog that's got phenomenal control, skills, technique. Right, this is what it looks like. Okay, so. Yeah, these puppies are phenomenal, and I can't wait to see months to come when they come here for three months to be with me, and we really take this to a whole new level. So, there you have it. Till next time, Richard Hines, America's Dog Trainer. Shield! 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 Out. Return, OPA. Pass <laughs> on.